Okay, I'm going to post a video about how I made a chainsaw mount. You can see right there for my Polaris ATV. Um, I've been kicking around the idea of mounting uh, my chainsaw to the actual ATV so when I'm cutting trails through my property, I'm not always like strapping it onto the front um, and then back off and it jumps around and all that stuff. So what I did was I took a cutting board uh, that is an HDPE or a poly cutting board. Uh, this is some of the remnants of it right here. And I put it on my table saw and I made a sheath for it, okay? Then I got a mounting bracket that I just kind of found laying around the house and I mount, mounted it to the tube of my uh, rack system and then I mounted the, uh, the cutting board sheath to that. So it's pretty stable. I mean, it kind of bounces around a little bit, but you know, for going through the trails and um, jumping off and cutting some trees or limbs down out of the way, uh, I think it, it, you know, it's an easy solve uh, instead of uh, buying a $100, $150 uh, chainsaw boot, uh, which I didn't particularly want to spend. I, I could have, but I just didn't feel like I'm going to use it all that often. But this thing is kind of mounted so I can take it on and off if I want. Um, it does have clearance on the tire about an inch. Uh, you can see right there. So when the suspension goes up and down, uh, I'm not going to hit anything. Um, and also I made it kind of uh, um, with a, uh, a hole out the bottom so it can fit my 20 inch bar chainsaw. And you can see right there, that's the 20 inch bar that would just hang down a little bit. So hope you find this uh, informational and if you want to build one for your ATV just use a poly cutting board. You can cut it on a table saw and mount it and make a bracket the way you need to. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos.